Hi, everyone, and welcome to today's quick tip. I'm Chris, and I'm here with Mike. And today we'll be talking about how to set up your art files in Adobe Illustrator for cutting in ErgoSoft. So, Mike, let's say I'm an ErgoSoft user and I want a quick and easy way to set up my art files for cutting. What's the best way to go? Uh, thanks, Chris. The best way to go in uh, Illustrator is to use a spot color. Um, so if pretend we have this shape here, the star. If you select your stroke of your shapes uh, down here in the bottom right, you can see stroke right now is white. But what we want to do is assign a spot color to that stroke instead. So we're going to do create swatch and give this a name. I'm just going to call it cut path. Um, it is case sensitive in ErgoSoft, so just remember that this needs to be the exact name that you use uh, in ErgoSoft, which we'll talk about in a future video. And we're going to make this a spot color and make it cyan. I like to make it cyan so I can see that it's there, basically, just to know that I have a cut path. And as you can see here now, we have the blue, the blue outline for our, our color. Okay, easy enough. Uh, quick question, how would I make sure that that actually, that line doesn't print out on the output itself? It's a great question. Uh, it's actually very quick and easy. In ErgoSoft, when you're creating your cut settings, um, you check a box that says, don't print this color. That's basically easy enough. It. Yeah. Great. Uh, are there any other ways to set up cut paths in, in Illustrator? Aside from spot uh, color? Yeah, we, well, we're, yeah, we did a spot color, like you mentioned. We can do a process color, so the same process, basically. We're going to create a new swatch and use this as a process color, and we'll just call this one CMYK. And this time, maybe I'll make this 100% magenta, just to show the difference. And now you can see there's a magenta line on the outside of the image. So then you have the two the two options for the cut path. Uh, in ErgoSoft, if we switch over real quick, on the left side here, you can see the star. This has the blue cut path around it. And on the right side in the selection window is the cut path preview, which is the red line that's going around the star. So that's how you can actually see that it's going to generate your cut path. That's excellent. Very helpful. OK, so a quick review. There's two different ways you can set up your art file for cutting. You can utilize a spot color cut path or a process color. Either way is recognized by Ergosoft. Correct. That's great. OK, thanks for watching, everybody. And please contact us if you have any questions.